All right, everybody. So the new Mac OS Ventura was just released at WWDC. It's pretty slick. It's got a lot of new features in it. Stage Manager, and it's pretty slick. It swaps between them. I can click on the desktop and they all go away. It just gives you a really nice, clean view. But what I want to show you is how to download this. So let me hop over to this Mac here. Let's open up System Preferences. Click on Software Update so we can watch this in action. Then we want to open up the Terminal app. So I'm going to arrow up. The first command is Software Update List Full Installers. I want to click this. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to actually have all these commands in a text file for you to be able to download so that you have them on hand. So now when I do that, because I am not a part of the developer program, it's just showing me up to 12.4. It's not showing me Mac OS Ventura, Mac OS 13, right? So what I need to do is I need to enroll in the developer seed. So I'm going to run this command here. I know it's kind of long, but you can copy it from the text file. And it will enroll this Mac into the developer seed program. So I'm going to hit go, enter in the password. So now that was successful. If I come back here, give this a second, the software update pane, we're going to see this switch over. And as you can see now, all I have to do is click upgrade now and I can download that macOS installer. Let me just show you list full installers. You're going to see that now you at the top you see the beta version shows up. So now I can actually use the fetch full installer to download it or this upgrade now button. It'll basically go download it to your applications folder. Now we're going to take that installer and we're going to install it on another partition on this Mac. So one second, I'm just going to click go. Applications folder. We're going to see that we now have macOS install macOS 13 beta.app. Close that. I'm going to open up Disk Utility. And I'm going to click the plus up here. And I'm going to call this uh, Mac OS <sighs> Ventura 13 and I'm going to click add click done now I am going to install onto that drive just double click this All right, so I just click continue, agree. All right, so let's choose the drive we just created. Click continue. I'm going to choose my user. Now that we got it started, in a few minutes it's going to reboot and finish the installation, which I'm not going to record the screen on. I'm just going to show you what you need to do to set yourself back to your old drive. So we're going to come to the system settings that's in Ventura now, and we're going to search for startup, and we're going to choose startup disk, and we're going to see that I have two Mac OS's. I am going to choose the one unlock that guy and you have selected to restart don't forget to unenroll from the developer seed you, two different ways to do it one is from the terminal and the other is from the software update pane by clicking details restore defaults